to make uh, the carols more vibrant and uh, more beautiful so we would like to call upon or we would like to introduce Nancy so who is our who is one of our younger pastor as well so can we have you on the stage please Nancy okay so let's all welcome Nancy with a round of applause please so with a greater round of applause shall we also welcome Troy as well okay thank you praise God dear people of God I'm so glad to see you all here and uh, we are here to share the message of God's birth who's, which is very nearing to us Let's all be seated now. If you wish to, you can clap, or if you wish to, you can also dance and just make the song a glad for one. Oh, 
as we sing one of our favorite songs in Christmas, I request all of you all to please stand and clap your hands as a special guest comes along. Yeah, clap your hands, one.
we'll be having a talk shared by our brother Clive, you know, who is our young apostle who has been with us so long. So let's all welcome him with a round of applause. Let's close our eyes for a minute. Father in heaven, we thank you. We praise you. We bless your holy name. We thank you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for coming down upon us while we are singing and praising and thanking your name. All the holy angels and saints, thank you for coming and singing along with us in choir, in chorus. Thank you all the holy angels and saints for walking along with us and praying along with us. Thank you, Mother Mary, all the holy angels and saints, the patriarchs, the thrones and dominions from angelic hosts from heaven dwelling upon this place right now. We pray, O oh Father, that every person who is watching this celebration, every person who is watching this carols on terrace night be blessed in your name. We pray according to Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 11 that every person who is participating in this carol singing, let every person who is watching us online be blessed a thousandfold, Lord. We pray that you bless this word, bless everything that is going to be shared. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. I would like to share just a short message. Um, Christmas is all about love joy and peace these are the three things which prominently come out of any christmas celebration in any church anywhere that you hear you hear these three truths which stand out the three values or the three gifts of the holy spirit which is love joy and peace as i was praying and reflecting upon this message of christmas I'll take you back to the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, while we know that Christmas is about the birth of the Messiah, in the Old Testament, Prophet Ezekiel is taken into a valley full of dry bones. In Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 4 and the following, we read that there was a valley full of dry bones and the prophet was just laid there and he was told by God, start prophesying to these dry bones. Start prophesying to every bone and muscle which is there in that place. When we connect it back to the message of Christmas, Christmas is a time of bringing life into this world. When the prophet prophesied by speaking the word out of his mouth, you know, all of us, when we speak the word out of our mouth, in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 19 and 20, it is written that everything that you speak, be it positive, be it negative, it comes out of your mouth. Hence, it is important of what we speak, how we speak. The prophet was told to prophesy. All of us have the gift of prophecy by birth when we are anointed and when we are baptized. When we prophesy and the man who was there in the form of the prophet Ezekiel, he was told to prophesy. He started prophesying and he started seeing a miracle there. He started seeing that sinews and muscles and flesh were formed on all those dry bones. When we read in Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 that the virgin shall receive a sign and shall conceive and this sign will become in her a miracle and that miracle shall be called Emmanuel which means God is with us. When the angel Gabriel was sent to give this good news to Mother Mary she was hardly 13 to 16 years but she received that word which was a prophecy by the angel and that word though her heart was just like the dry bones in the valley which Ezekiel saw her heart was filled with love joy and peace which are the three fruits that Christmas brings in our lives and she conceived in her 
Jesus, who is to be called Emmanuel. When Jesus was conceived, he was nurtured just like all of us. The Bible says Jesus was both human and divine, which means that he enjoyed everything that was divine and still he chose to be human. When you and I are standing in that place of receiving this Messiah, we are in the place of receiving love, joy and peace, not just for ourselves, but for our families. Christmas is not about removing Christ as some of the media say that, you know, we say that Christmas is Xmas celebration, which means Christ is removed from the celebration of Christmas itself and we give an opportunity for something else to enter that. But no, Christmas is all about Christ. When a child is born or conceived with a mother, there is so much of joy in the people who have come together, the husband and the wife. When they come together, there is a union when the power of the Holy Spirit comes upon them. And that is when there is something called as conception which happens. Joseph and Mother Mary, though they were not together, the child was born by the power of the Holy Spirit. That is what will happen when you and I prophesy for each other. And Christmas is the time when we start prophesying love, joy and peace in each other lives. I pray that this Christmas we all receive these fruits of love, joy and peace and may we cherish it all throughout our lives. Shall we all close our eyes for a minute? Join our hands wherever we are. The viewers who are watching, close your eyes. The Bible says that where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I. The message of Christmas is clear. Uh, Jesus came to give us life and life in all its abundance. But the devil comes to steal kill and destroy. What is it that is being stolen from you? What is it that is being killed inside of you? What is it that is being destroyed inside of you? Today, offer it to Jesus. The little Jesus, the baby Jesus, who is going to be born amongst us, is going to bring and break everything which the devil wants to steal, kill and destroy in us. May Jesus fill us with his love. May he fill us with his joy. May he fill us with his peace. Amen. May you all have a wonderful Christmas. Thank you.